So we're going to Bourbons for NOPD on scene, requesting for a male down. Male down, down. It's going down. It's going to calm down. They need to come on down. Come on down. You need to get on down. Come on down the aisle and get you some <laughs> You took it too far. We're <laughs> stars, bro. We got this <laughs> down. Get a call for a man down, and we find an elderly gentleman that is laying across steps um, to a hotel. And we can smell the alcohol. Hey, man. Hey, man. What you doing? Let's start with something easier. What's your name? Hey, what you doing? Why are you hey. in here? What's your name? We go up to him, and he's not like your typical drunks most of the time when you have drunk. They won't be able to wake up, or the speech will be slurred. He wasn't talking. He was like looking like he wanted to talk, but he couldn't. Hello. Hey. What's your name? William. Your name is William. I will. You got to use your feet, bro. Get up. I got you, bro. So we get him to the truck. Check his vital signs. Walter. Walter. Hi, Walter. Well, that's it. Pat, don't move. I mean, I like how he's all wide-eyed, but he, like, won't speak. Uh, Sugar is low. Oh, well, that might be the issue. Right. We can fix you. He didn't look like a diabetic. He wasn't clammy. Um, he wasn't, you know, really pale. That's an easy fix for us. You know, we were able to start an IV, give him some dextrose 50, um, get his sugar up. Hi. Hey, Walter. Walter. Hi. Hey. Now you look like you're more alert. You sugar are you a drop. diabetic? Yeah, you are. Your sugar was low, sweetie. Did you take some insulin and not eat? Uh, made it up to the room at the door. You don't remember? You're at a hotel on St. Charles. You live in New Orleans? No. You don't live in New Orleans? No, it's just a wedding. You're at a wedding? Yeah. You were outside of your hotel, and people found you laid out, passed out on the stairway of the hotel you're staying at, yeah. So, Walter, what we need to do is we need to take you to the hospital and get checked out, OK? You just need to be monitored for a few minutes or a little bit just to make sure your sugar doesn't drop again. Had someone not checked his sugar and just left him there, thinking that he was just intoxicated because he smelled like alcohol, his sugar would have continued to drop, he would have died. 32, 20, 25, 85-year-old male, experiencing weakness and diarrhea. He's coming in on the train. Damn it, I'm not going to be able to eat this. Never going to get to eat my french fries. <laughs> One more bite, then I'll put it away. Girl, watching you eat. At times, it's an artist painting a picture. <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever described my eating in such a way. <laughs> 3225 on scene. Let's bring all of the things. Gotcha. That's an unusual call to go to the train station. How you doing, ma'am? All, right. all the passengers are getting off the train, walking all down right. to the terminal, and we're going the other way. How you doing? Right here. All right. Hey, darling. What was going on? I just started getting woozy and weak. Started up. OK. Yeah. Uh-huh. After that first deficit, probably dozed off for a couple of hours. And that's why he's wearing his pajamas. Hey, I, I dig the pajama look. I'm almost 1970. I like those. I wasn't. We get there, and it is a very, very sweet couple. They just arrived in New Orleans on vacation. They're just here to spend some time together, and now they have to see us. What kind of medical problems do you have, my baby? I'm 21. You ever had an irregular heartbeat? No. Um, so your heart rate's concerning to me. He's showing what we call AFib on the monitor, where the atria of your heart, instead of beating like they're supposed to, are really just fibrillating and shaking. So being an AFib is something that needs to be taken care of. I would absolutely suggest you let me take you to the hospital. As much as I don't want to tell you this, I can't force you to go to the hospital. If we don't, you can get blood clots. Blood clots can lead to strokes. All of that can lead to a terrible ending. 
I can take you to the hospital that's closest to here and closest to your hotel. So will you let me take you to the hospital? It doesn't mean you'll spend the night. If they can get your heart rate under control, you won't be there overnight. I can't do that. I think you should, honey. Okay. okay. I played Porter a little bit and just run out the luggage. You can't make the poor old lady worry about her luggage with her husband in the hospital. What brought y'all to New Orleans? Change of pace. Change of pace? Just coming to vacation for a little bit? Yeah, you ready? That wasn't too, too bad, was it? You were pretty dumb up until now. Even though their vacation starting off in a hospital, hopefully Ted and I showed them how hospitable we can be around here and how much New Orleans cares about its visitors. Well, are we going to Bourbon Street? Yeah, we're going to Bourbon Street, 23-year-old female, unconscious. It says breathing, but patient is unresponsive. Abnormal breathing. She's probably drunk. Yeah, no. Either no. drunk or someone, God forbid, put something in her drink. drink. Yeah. You never know, man. Yep. Yeah. Down there, you you definitely don't know. You saw, you always gotta watch like who who you get drinks from. Like I don't ever take drinks from yep. strangers. I don't like none of that. Like I I get my own drinks unless it's like you know if you buy me a drink that's fine. You know. Yeah. Unfortunately, we get this call all the time. Young females down on Bourbon Street. Yes, it could be alcohol related, but we always got to keep in our mind that she possibly could have got drugged. We got to check for all the signs. Here we go. Into the code. Here we go. Oh, God, people, get out the way. Oh, thank you, man. You really, you really helped me there. I personally like responding to the calls in the French Quarter. I like the mayhem. I like working in mayhem like that. See him right there? Yeah. You can show us on scene. Yeah, you're gonna need, uh, what up, boss? Y'all gonna need to bring a stretcher because yeah, yeah. she's out of it. Go. When I pull up on scene, the first thing I see is this female hunched over in a pedicab, and Bourbon Street is packed. The crowd is getting really rowdy, so we need to get this patient up and in the back of the truck fast. Hey! Oh! Hey! Most of these calls on Bourbon Street, they're easy calls, but it's the bystanders that make it worse. They get mad, they start yelling, and when they get in the middle of it, they make it more dangerous sometimes than it actually is. I make sure I don't get hit. Sir, hey, sir, please back up. I need you to step back so we can take care of this patient. Back up! Please back up now. You been throwing up? Me and Flex are responding to a female hunched over in a pedicab. Okay. There's an unruly crowd forming around me, David, and our patient. We need to get her up on the stretcher and inside the truck where it's safe. You all right, baby? We're going to take care of you, all right? Don't worry about it. Hey, does anything hurt you? No. No? All right. Hey, I'm going to sit you up in case you, you vomit, OK? Miss Angie, right, baby? Angie, yep. All right, baby. We're going to take care of you, OK? Sorry. Don't be sorry. You don't, have to, you don't have to be sorry. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to hang this over your head, OK? There you go. I'm going to start an IV and give you some fluids and everything, too, OK? All right, baby? Are you allergic to anything? No. No? All right. I have a feeling that this patient was not drugged. She just had a little bit too much to drink tonight. So we're going to get a set of vitals on her and give her some fluids to get her hydrated again. So you visiting from Pennsylvania? Yes. All right. How you like New Orleans so far? Awesome. A little too much, huh? <laughs> a little too much partying right now, huh? Yes. This is nothing new for us. Everybody tries to drink New Orleans dry when they come here, walking down Bourbon Street, double fisting hurricanes. I'm like, you're going to be in my unit next. What'd I you do it. tonight? Uh, like, how much you had to drink? Do you need any drugs? No, I just. You can tell us you're not going to get in trouble. Oh, Rum and Coke? So, Rum and Coke? Never I just got a little <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> I have three kids. I need to get out. I got three kids, too. 
I can relate to this patient because she has three kids. I had three kids young. You love them, but you also need a break. So we're gonna run her up to the hospital so she can be monitored while she sobers up. I'm so sorry, guys. Hey. I just and you did. I worked here so hard being a mom. <coughs> I needed a break. Baby, I completely understand that. I just think you need to turn out like this. So, tell me, what does that mean to you? That right there, that tattoo. I like that. Just stay focused yeah, in life. Yeah, I like that. It don't matter what anybody says. To just do your own thing and make sure that life is worth it. Hell yeah, I like that. I tell people to always put their head up, no matter what. I do. I had three kids at 23, and I didn't expect it. But it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> I didn't expect to be in this ambulance right now. But it's like a break from reality. I think I'm throw up now. Here, right here. <laughs> oh. Baby, stop. You're all right. We got you. All right. There you go. You feel better? Yeah. All right. I'm hopeful that she actually takes a lesson from this. You can't drink New Orleans dry. Don't even try. But keep your head up. Have fun. You got three young kids to take care of. You cleared your head down here. Go back up to Pennsylvania and be a great mom. Woo. You feel better now? Yes. Good. I didn't mean to make everybody worry. Hey, you, you okay? Great. Your friends are a little worried, Yeah, though. your friends were. I know. You can't outdrink the city. You definitely can't. You can try, but you know what? There's always more, baby. <laughs> you have an unknown aged male who was impaled by glass. Impaled? And it's impaled in his arm. Uncontrolled bleeding. Too late. So we are going to a hotel where a male fell into a window and has a huge piece of glass impaled in his arm. The bleeding is uncontrolled and it is soaring out. I just go ahead and get some of these gloves ready now. Yeah, give me two yeah, I got mediums, you two mediums for you. For you. Thank you, ma'am. 32 What's going on, man? Back. He went through the guy's window. He almost hit my kiss. The bleeding's controlled under that towel. That was the car window you went through? Yeah. It looks like it's slowed down. All right, OK. Even though there was a lot of blood, I'm glad to see he wasn't actually impaled with glass. Feel like you can walk? Yep. Just you ready? Yeah. OK, all right. For this gentleman, just want to take care of that arm, clean it up some. Where are you from? California. Okay, welcome to New Orleans, man. Yeah. Bring him on up to the hospital. Get some x-rays done. Just make sure there's not damage that we can't see. 6240, you can cancel fire. All right, keep his hand up. Turn around. Turn around. I know it's All a right, tiny sit space. straight back. Sit straight back. All right, bud. All right, kick your legs up for me. Where's your family? Uh, my wife took the kids back to the hotel. Room. Okay. My daughter was hysterical. All right, you got this? My parents yeah. are out on the curb. The guy almost took one of my kids out. Oh. Come to find out, the man is walking across the street with his two young kids, and a car comes and does not stop all the way at the stop sign, and he has to pull his kids back, or else they could have been hit by the car. And as he's pulling the kids back, the car kept on going, and he swung and punched out the car window. All right, where is the car? Not that it's in his palm. It's like right here. Oh, he's got another one to the side of the pinky oh, yeah. finger. Is that glass still in there right there? Yeah, it looks like it. Get you some stitches in there. It's time to get him up to the hospital. What brought you out of New Orleans? Well, family vacation. Well, I'm glad we're here for you and not for your daughter. He is absolutely a hero dad. You don't need an second ambulance for the guy. Oh, I, I yeah. He saved his daughter from a fate that could have been terrible. 32, 32 to Tulane. And if he has some cuts and scrapes to show for that, I think that's a win for everybody. Thirty-five, we're right here by that. Would you like us to take it? Mm -hmm. All right, we are going for somebody that has been stabbed. Uh, 34 is this him? This is him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh, why was that dude all bloody? Where was the other person at? I don't know. He's 
When we pull up on this scene, I see a man covered in blood, but because one's walking and one's laying on the ground, we have to assume that the one lying on the ground is in worse condition. What's up, man? Hi. All right. Look like he's stuck on his hand. Gotcha. 35131 Hey, you all right? Okay. What happened? Yeah, fighting? Where are you cut at? Is this your hand? I mean, he's got, like, blood right here, but... Our patient had just clean wounds to the hand, but he doesn't speak much English. I need to to Spanish. So at this point, I mean, we really need a translator to figure out exactly what happened. I got children. Just in the hand. Just in the hand. And it looks like, I don't know, that guy in the red shirt. Yeah, he's cut, too. His neck is split. Did y'all look at him? No. Oh, he's cut. His neck is split. Well, why is he walking down the street? I don't know. Hang on. It's almost over. I cleared a call, and I heard that Nick and Holly were on a stabbing that was maybe two blocks from me, so I headed over there to see if they needed a hand. Are they friends? Do we know? Turn your neck. Let me see. Turn your head. Turn your head. Let me see your neck. All right, come come with me. You need to go to the hospital. No, no, no. no. This, you have a big no, cut. No, 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 no. You are. You're gonna bleed to death. You're not. Let me good. see. Let me see. Let me look. He stabbed in the neck. I could see all the way inside of his neck. I could see the muscles and everything else. I can see inside of your neck. No, but it's good for me. No problem. You have to go. Let's go. Oh my God. Is this your friend? No, not the friend. But do you know him? No, no friend. No friend. Is that the guy you're arguing with? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, hey. No. The first patient, it's only a laceration in the hand. The second guy's got a stab wound to the neck. There was a language barrier, so it was really hard to figure out what happened, which caused us to not put two and two together that these two people had assaulted each other. No, 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 you're not listening. Do not bring him in here. He cut him. We're going to need to separate okay. those. All right, we're going to get him out, and you're going to go in. All right, Jerry Soft, we need another unit code three. We took the more stable patient out of the truck to wait with Keely on scene for another unit to come. All right, sit down right there. The Sprint unit is just a quick response vehicle. We don't necessarily transport. Let's go, let's go. Come on, no, 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 you're not, no, no, no. you have to go. You have to go. Oh, oh. I know, hang on, oh, oh. I got to look at it. Relax. Uh, One, two, three. Oh. That's it. Oh. Oh. All right, we out. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. I need person in Spanish, please. I don't understand. Right. Hey, Juan, did he do like this to you? Or was it like slice? 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 Right. Okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. No English. He's got a laceration. He's going to need some sutures. That's it. All right, come on, man. Look, listen. Listen, Juan. Don't move your head around too much, OK? I understand. So you ain't going to be able to work if you ain't living. You know what I'm saying? So we got to take you to the hospital and get checked out. All right? You're welcome. It's not every day that you roll up quick enough to find the victim and the perpetrator on the same scene. Obviously, if we spoke more fluently, it probably would have helped out of knowing that they stabbed each other quicker. I just think it's funny that people like to point the finger at each other. Oh, yeah. And then you're just like, wait, what? 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 Right. You stabbed him? He stabbed you? Who's, who stabbed who? Right. Who did it? Who did it? We're about to go get lost on a Frenchman like we used to do. Lost on a Frenchman? Boy, don't threaten me with a good time. They dancing in the street up there? Yeah. Oh, look at them. They up there getting it. You going to walk up there or what? Oh, boy, that ain't good. Man, it's crazy how kind of dead it is over here. Man, remember, like, it used to be, like, all filled up and stuff, bro. And, like, now it's, like, dead. COVID's definitely changed the French Quarter. It's almost like a ghost town. But seeing dancing in the street, man, it's definitely refreshing, you know, that glimmer of hope that we need. You about to get in there? I bet you won't. I'm talking about you. Get you a little two-step pin, Jay. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. Hey, that's what they do, bro. Hey. Let me see. Get you up. Get you up. Ain't hey, that what they do? Just fucking. 
<laughs> Just take off, white man. <laughs> he was, son. I'm gonna fall and twist my ankle. <laughs> As in New Orleans, I'm here, son. I know, me too. The people at New Orleans are very resilient. I feel like they can overcome anything that happens, whether it's hurricanes, tornadoes, flooding. Pandemics, <laughs> you know. Seeing that the vaccine is becoming more available to people, we're going to get back, and we're going to come back strong. Go catch you some of that. Do the, uh, uh, the twerk. The, the twerk. You going to hit it with me? Thank you, Sydney Sandbar. What do they call it? Alpha 3247, he has a slight male. Stacey has abnormal breathing. He's still unconscious. I'm switching to PD. That's roll. We headed out to 6244. Oh, it look like it's at a bar, huh? Yeah, that's how I was looking at it. They say our cross is going to be Rampart and um, Burgundy or something. Oh, I don't call it Burgundy, Burgundy. What's wrong with you? Burgundy. 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 What is it? Oh. Well, we got a lot. 3247 on scene. Hey, what's up, babe? So this wonderful man is from Nebraska. Uh huh. He's a little too intoxicated. He came into this bar and he fell out. They called 911. He's too intoxicated to refuse. Okay. Uh, you want to give him a hand? He may fall. I'll refuse medical treatment right now. The patient is real hesitant about going to the hospital with us. He really doesn't want to go, but he might have had a significant fall and might have a possible head injury. So it's best that he does go, even if he really doesn't want to go. Unfortunately, we can't, brother. Have a You're seat. too intoxicated right Come now. Come on, so Nick. We've, been, we've been doing good this whole time. Yeah. Have a seat for me. No, but I don't need to go nowhere. You do. I'm taking my ass back to my hotel. Come on, my man. Have, have, a, seat. have a seat, buddy. Hey, BD. Just relax, calm your nerve a little bit. We got you, all right? Hey, worry about it. Heart rate 98. It's all good coming to the city of New Orleans and having some drinks, but when you're so intoxicated to where you begin to fall and potentially become a danger to yourself, that's when we step in. We have to be that advocate for that patient. I fell up because I was drinking with my friends. And right. I was just having fun. And be like that sometimes, you forget where you're trying to take a nap at. Yeah, I was doing, doing what I do. I got you, man. So I make sure you ain't eat the pavement or nothing like that. I'm trying to be friends with my homeboy. Yeah, you, you ain't hurt no one, huh, bro? You good? Yeah, I'm good right now. You gonna remember uh, 32 Soul Patrol? We got you. Yeah, I'm gonna write a note to the city. This is GQ. Yeah, yeah. What I'm talking about? Hey, bro, you might be drunk, but your eyesight just fine. <laughs> I can tell before we picked up this patient, he was having a good time, enjoying himself. But now that we have to take him to the hospital, I want to do my best to just try and be his friend. Even though he's not drinking, you know, enjoying himself, he can talk to me, we can joke, we can laugh. We can have a good time on the way to the hospital. So we got to take you to the hospital just for a little bit, just so you can sober up. I was trying to have fun, bro. I know. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish I could have fun like you right now, but I'm at work. Well, yeah, I take my ass to work, too. That's why I took my ass to vacation. Is this uh, your first time coming down to New Orleans? Yeah. All right, Nick, we had now a few bumps on the way. I apologize. Be cool, all right? I always be cool. Have I not been cool? Yeah, that's just how we are down here, my man. <laughs> what made you want to come? Just come hang out? Or? I was born and raised in Nebraska, and I ain't seen nothing different. I hear that. How you liking it down here so far? It's good. Until I know in the back of England, I wasn't trying to create problems for nobody. Did I create problems for you? No, you've been nothing but pleasant with me. Yeah. Look, Nick, you probably just got a little too live uh, at the bar. That's all, man. They just yeah, want you to get checked what? out. We're just trying to have fun. I uh, can't be mad with that. Give me something, bro. I'm I can't fine. be mad at that. He's driving like he stole something, huh? Yeah. Say it on the <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that. Coming to y'all with a 34 year old male, chief complaint, intoxication, the all facility in about five minutes. Yo, have a hard ass job. Yeah, that I respect be... you to the fullest. I appreciate that, man. It's a blessing.
safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grant the knob, grant the knob. They're not dead. I can work with that.